same prompt, same rules, two AIs enter, only one leaves. You'll see the same exact prompt run through both side by side in ChatGPT 4.0 and MidJourney. Let's see who stands tall at the end. And we're gonna start with a simple prompt, nothing burger. Typed it in, here we go, bam. We're gonna run these side by side, so I put that in there to ChatGPT. Here it is in Mid Journey. Let's just make sure we have the right aspect ratio, we do. How are we doing over here? ChatGPT is just getting started. Mid Journey's already done. So what did we get? We got nothing burger. We got four results. Usually we use way more prompts than that. Oh, that looks gross. <laughs> but that's what we got. Four images right there. We could re-roll and do something else. Let's look at ChatGPT. Oh, that's really awesome. Nothing burger. It actually made some text. It doesn't have an image. That's literally amazing. That's really amazing. All right, round two. Type it in, create image. Ne whoop, spell it right. Neon colors, tie-dye pattern, Flemish tapestry floral pattern. And let's copy that so I don't have to put you through the excruciating pain of watching me type again. Put that in there. And ChatGPT is just getting started. How are we doing in Mid Journey? Mid Journey's done already. That looks amazing. We're still waiting. Let's do some, uh, what else can we do? So we're running some more variations and it's still thinking about it. Over here on ChatGPT, those look really great. Can we rerun? Let's rerun a couple more over here while we're waiting. All right, it's finally uh, showing us some stuff. Let's get a full size view. I like the swirl in the middle and the I think that looks pretty decent. How we do over here. We created a lot of images in that same amount of time. And uh, did we get anything that's probably better? I don't know, I really like this one. It doesn't really have a tie dye feel to it. This one does though. I don't know, I think I'm gonna give this one to Mid Journey. I like these images better. The chat GPT is okay, but nothing to holler about. This one actually, because we created way more images in Mid Journey, I think that we'll give that round to Mid Journey. All right, so that's one to one, one to one. Let's do the next one. We're gonna do four of these, by the way. And this new one is uh, Robot Machinarium. Um, this I did a video the other day with robots in it and one of the viewers suggested this. I haven't run this yet, so this is going to be brand new here. Let's see what that produces. And we'll do the same thing over here in Mid Journey to see what we get. And you can just see how quickly Mid Journey bangs stuff out. And we're still waiting over here for this to start. So Mid Journey wins on speed all the time. That's awesome. This is my favorite right here. What did we get? Anything yet? No. So everybody hooting and hollering about ChatGPT and how great it is, if you're a professional creative, you can't wait. <laughs> this, this would drive me insane if I have a deadline. How am I going to be creating a lot of images? How am I, like, we don't even know if this is going to be good or not. Uh, and we're still waiting on this. I got to hand it to you. I really think that Mid Journey is going to be the speed demon here. Uh, we can upscale this a couple times just to see. Whoop, I didn't mean to upscale. I wanted to very subtle. And we're still waiting. Oh, finally full-size view uh, I guess that's okay I got to tell you I like I like this little guy way better I think this has a little more character and punch to it and we did some variations I like the highlights in the eyes that one right there look at the fingers 
That's just great. All right, last one, and it's a doozy. And we're going to type it in here to Mid Journey first, just because we did Chat GPT before. And this is a longer prompt. Oh, Chevrolet C10 California Car Club Lowrider Side View Cinematic Lighting Monochrome Street Scene. And uh, let's do an AR of 16 to 9 just to throw a little curveball in there because not everything is square. And we would adjust it here, usually, instead of typing it in, but we're just showing off. We're going to prompt. We're going to hit go. And then we're going to put it over here and hit go. Whoops. I forgot to hit create image. So that's another problem using this, is the fact that ChatGPT does so many things, you're going to have to remember to hit create image. Uh, so that could be a problem, especially if you're a dummy like me. All right, here's our results. Those look great. That looks like a car club magazine photo, especially this one. What we get over here? But we're still waiting. All right, what can we do? Let's do a remix strong and let's add in pinstripes. And uh, let's not make it monochrome. And let's just say sunset. What we get over here. We're still waiting. Now we have that image in color. And we're able to remix the image that we liked. There you go. Love it. Do we get anything yet? Nope. All right, so everybody who keeps yipping and yawing about how great ChatGPT is with creating images. If you're an amateur person who just wants to create something to throw up on Instagram or Facebook, I think this is perfect. If you're a professional designer who's got a deadline, who wants to create and iterate and make images because you need them with what you do, I think Midjourney has well beyond shown that it's the platform to use. I mean, look at all these that we've created, right? We created all these images while we're waiting on ChatGPT to get done with this business. And it's still, we're still waiting. It's still not loading. <laughs> I don't know how patient you are. I'm not very patient. I think uh, we're just gonna call the fight. So we'll give ChatGPT one round with the nothing burger that was really great it really understood what we wanted which was nothing between the buns but pretty much everything else uh, you know there's nothing going on here right so i think mid journey wins three to one what do you think what's your results drop those comments below and then if you want to learn more about how to create great looking images without using ChatGPT, but using MidJourney, we've got a great community and newsletter at MidJourney Experience. We'd love to uh, see you there. Click the link in the description and check it out. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.